Slow Concrete Lovers. Today, we're going to make a marbled or ombre gradient. I haven't decided yet. Cactus planter with concrete, with my own special blend of concrete, gray matter. If you are new today, I just want to welcome you. And I would encourage you to go get some concrete and follow along, have fun with us. And if you're returning, I also want to thank you. And uh, I'm, I'm glad to see you. Or at least I'm glad for you to see me. We have one kilo of concrete. with approximately 50 milligrams, 50 grams of white pigment. And that is 50 milliliters of water. And this will be another 50, but I'm gonna stop there. So that's about approximately 80 milliliters. We're making pasta making concrete pasta, building a well, a little volcano. Today it's a volcano, and we don't want the magma to get out of here. Okay. Are you following along? Do you have concrete at home on your kitchen table? on a sheet of plastic. Do you have gloves on? Do you have a dust mask? Have you been on our website? There's more tutorials and lots of helpful information for making concrete things, for mixing concrete. I think we need now the rest. 100 milliliters of water, I'll put this over here. Feeling. I think we're going to go a little more. Time to start playing it safe. Can't just be dumping water in. water. Uh oh, hands on. The amount of water in your concrete mix affects how strong your concrete can get. It affects initial cure, but it also affects overall strength. So be careful. Too much water and you begin to lose integrity in your mix. It's a very common mistake. But we need more. That's not enough. Not yet. But we are close. Come on. I want this to just start coming together. And that's why I do this by hand. Because... And it's the only way I can get the perfect consistency. And your consistency is a really important part. Oh, yeah. See? Look what happened. Did you think? Consistency is important. White up here. Number two. We got one kilo. One kilo of 
Hmm. One kilo of gray matter and 60 grams of red pigment, straight red. That's 50. We're at about 80 milliliters of water. We've got the well. Mix them. Oh no, the village, the volcano. Oh boy, bad, this is a messy one. Not good, not good. Okay, okay. That's coming together a little quicker than white. So 60 grams of bread is a lot of bread. That's a pretty heavy, I would say that that's it's very close to a max saturation. I don't want to use my little cup anymore. I only trust the spray bottle. Very intense color. And it's coming together. So what do we do? I feel I could add a little more water. Or I could leave it dry and let the let the white the concrete the white concrete's a little wetter. I could let it hydrate this. This is beautiful. If you can consistently make your concrete have this for consistency, you can make the most beautiful things in the world. Oh man, so do we go gradient or do we go bleed and if we go bleed do we start with white or do we start with red I'm gonna start with white seems like a weird choice but I'm going white not sure why something uh -oh. something inside just says it's right
got to do this part. We got access. Cut it off. And if I do, do I use a lighter? Don't use a lighter. Danger. enough more when do you stop doing this stop. you have to do this this is part of the magic if you don't do this your castings and your concrete your entire life is going to be totally bobo. Time for a little bit. Still too much. Get rid of you. And there is our drainage. I got this little thing. One little thing. It's a little bit not quite level. Try that there. Got it. wait 12 hours and see what we get. Time to do the reveal. Well, let's first let's pull our little drainage plug out. And then we separate the edge of the mold. Okay. Now grab here. Casting. I didn't wash the mold. And the rest is kind of this beautiful red and white. Gorgeous. And nice little drain hole in the bottom, too. Super clean. Zero voids. There's one. There's our one void. We can fill that void if we want to. That's pretty small. Not a big deal. Very cool. Well, thank you everyone for joining me. Leave a comment and you can be entered to win this. Um, we got to decide who won the last. Who won the last pot? I'll, I'll take a look through the comments and see who we've got. But yeah, we uh, had a lot of fun. It's fun.
fun to make beautiful things with our hands. And I'm glad we could do it together. So thanks again for joining me and check out www.concreteconcrete for materials and more information, color codes, helpful tips, anything you can think of. And yeah, feel free to drop me a line, email, text, message, comments. I'd be happy to hear from you and answer your questions. Bye for now. <laughs>